Internal Affairs SKIDU Specialist. And I'm here today to talk to you about the new 7.8 Panoramic Gauge. I have a new model year 2021 SKIDU MXZ XRS Renegade with the new 7.8 gauge. I'm going to show you how to download the BRP Connect and BRP Go apps as well as sync your phone via Bluetooth and tether your phone to the gauge so that you can mirror the apps on the new 7.8 Panoramic Gauge. Okay, one of the first things you need to do when you're getting ready to set up your new 7.8 on your MXZ, uh, you have to download two apps. There's the BRP Go app and the BRP Connect app. They can be found in the Google Play Store or the uh, App Store, depending if you have an Apple or Android device. As you can see on my screen here, I have already downloaded both of mine. They're up in the up corners, BRP Go here and BRP Connect here. Uh, going into the App Store, very simple. Uh, BRP, type in BRP in the search engine there, and BRP Go and BRP Connect come right up. Just simply click on them. It gives me the option to open it because I already have mine downloaded. Yours you'll have to download to the phone. Once you have those on your phone and the icons are there, you're ready to connect your phone to the sled and you can now mirror the apps on your new 7.8 panoramic gauge. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the standard features that come with any of the MXZs that come with the 7.8 new panoramic gauge. I'm gonna remove the windshield uh, just for a little bit uh, better viewing for you at home uh, so the camera can capture everything and we can get the glove box wide open. So we're gonna pull this windshield off and it simply just goes in with these pegs and the rubber grommets. Upon reinstall, if you just wet the grommet or maybe put a little Vaseline on it, helps you slide the windshield in and out. So opening the glove box, uh, you'll notice on this MXZ Renegade XRS, uh, there's a bag here. This bag comes standard with any of the models that come with the new 7.8 gauge. This bag is really nice because not only does it hold your phone, but it is also heated and it keeps your phone warm. So you're going to be getting a charge all the time that your phone is plugged in and tethered to the sled, as well as it's gonna stay warm to help combat the battery draining even faster in the cold weather that we all know happens when we're out snowmobiling. So this bag uh, has a really nice, easy grab handle zipper on it. You can open it up. Uh, the heated element is in the bag and it comes standard. It also has a plug right here that may or may not be plugged in when you get your sled. If it's not plugged in, it simply plugs in and clicks. Uh, this plug is wired into the sled right here, not something you have to have, it comes factory, as well as a USB port that you see right here. Using any authorized uh, Android or Apple USB cord will work fine. Uh, simply plug the USB end in there like that. Plug the cord into your phone like this. Put your phone in the bag. Zip your phone up. And it stows just like that. One thing to remember before you put your phone in, after you are plugged in and you're ready to go, you will need to open the RP Go as well as BRP Connect. Both of those apps need to remain open. When the snowmobile is running, like you saw earlier in the video, you'll see the black screen with the cord plugged into it, and there'll be an image of the phone and the cord plugged in on the screen, just be black. You will not have any of your apps or anything visual. Once you've done that, put your phone in your bag, tuck your cord in, tuck the uh, handle for the bag in, Shut the glove box and you're ready to ride and enjoy BRP Connect and BRP Go. So this is the new controller uh, for model year 21 with the 7.8 panoramic gauge. Uh, it is very easy to use. Uh, the first couple minutes you're going to have to get acclimated with it and find out what's comfortable for you to use. But it is super simple and it's in a great position on the snowmobile. The controller is off axis. It's at about a 45 degree angle opposed to straight on with the sled but that is your, your position that you'll be in when you're on the snowmobile. So looking at it at first, it might strike you as a little bit different to be in the direction that it is, but once you sit down and use it, it is definitely user-friendly. This is going to be the bottom of the controller when I refer to the bottom. This is going to be the top of the controller when I refer to the top. This will be the left when I refer to the left, and this will be the right when I refer to the right. The top buttons that you see here, here, and here. We have a rewind or repeat. We have a play or pause. 
and we have a fast forward or skip. Simply push them, they click, they're very positive. The buttons are bossed, so they're raised up. They're very easy to feel, even with a winter glove on, with snow and ice. The bottom is a settings button. Simply push this, this drops down your engine temperature, as well as battery voltage on a drop down window on top of the gauge. This is the button that will take you to your app, your BRP Go and BRP Connect. Uh, this button will allow you to toggle on or off or in or out of the app. You can also use the center of the wheel to select within the app by pushing down or you can push down to return to the main menu. You can push this to the right, you can push this to the left, you can push this up, you can push this down. You can turn this to the right, you can turn this to the left. These are all functions for moving within the menu on the gauge, whether you be selecting your apps or if you're within the settings or connecting Bluetooth, you're going to have to push or scroll right or left as well as push in as an enter or selection. And holding it will always take you back to your main menu. Okay, as you can see, we just uh, woke the sled and the gauge up. You can see that it says loading here just so that you don't have uh, a little bit of a learning curve like I did, it takes a little bit of time for the gauge to wake up. So your connectivity, whether it be with the tether cord or the Bluetooth, uh, will not happen right out of the gate as soon as you start the sled or wake the gauge up. Give it a minute or so to, to get woken up and going, and then you can connect uh, through Bluetooth and your cord. So I have Bluetooth shut off on my phone right now, and I'm going to turn it on um, so that we can connect to the gauge. So here we connect. And it's connected. Next, we're going to tether the phone with the cord. And this is just for your demonstration purpose. I have it out of the glove box. I'm going to open BRP Go. Getting this screen on your phone shows you that the uh, you're connected to the app. By pushing on this button down here, on what will be the bottom right when you're sitting on the sled, will allow you to open up BRP Connect. You see it come up on the screen here. You can select your music, your maps, your reverb, or most people's interest, one more turn of this knob to the right is the BRP Go by pushing center, open the BRP Go. We're gonna turn the knob to the left, click on it, and now turning to the right or left will allow you to zoom in or zoom out. Click on it again, turn to the right, we're gonna go down, you see it highlight the bottom yellow here, we're gonna push in, that'll center where you are, or where I am right now. Turning to the left, push center. Now we're on zoom out mode and zoom in mode. You can see me turning the dial to the left, zooms out. And turning to the right, zooms in. You can see the roads as uh, we're right in the city, so you can see all the roads here showing on the map. All these blue lines you see, are the snowmobile trail system that is listed uh, with the BRP Go app and shown. Again, pay attention to your phone. The black screen here with the little connection showing the cord going into the phone shows you that are you, you are tethered via the cord to the gauge in the USB port that is in the glove box that is needed to mirror these apps on your gauge like you see here. Okay, we're going to go through the functions of the new 7.8 panoramic gauge on the new model year 2021 Skidoo uh, MXZX and XRS uh, Renegades and Back Countries. Uh, this year, the gauge has a number of different features that are new, as well as possibly confusing for some to get acquainted with. 
Uh, I've taken some time with this gauge and figured out a bunch of little neat little tricks to get you through this, as well as show you how to navigate and get connectivity with your phone. As you may or may not know, the gauge is app-based, so you do have to have the BRP Go and BRP Connect app on your phone, both of them open. Uh, once you've done that and successfully connected the phone via Bluetooth to the gauge, we can go through and show you all the different connectivity points as well as functions of the gauge. So with the jog wheel, you'll see here on the gauge, you have a home button in the center. We push that, brings up our full menu here. On the top, scroll to the bottom. We're gonna start by scrolling over, going up to Bluetooth, scrolling over, selecting phone. You'll see my phone is already connected here, iPhone, so we don't have to connect it. In your case, you will have to scroll over to the right with the jog wheel, hit add a phone, have the Bluetooth search open on your phone so it discovers your phone. Once it does, you'll see your phone listed here like mine is. Once you've connected that way, come back over here, come back to the main menu, simply by scrolling left with the jog wheel. My phone is in the glove box and it's plugged into the USB port that is in the glove box. And that is what gives you the tether connectivity for the, for the gauge. We're gonna scroll up here, and we're gonna launch the BRP Connect app by scrolling to the right. Now most people, uh, and in the spring, we showed this gauge with the features that you see right here listed, which is with BRP Connect. BRP Connect is what connects your phone or tethers your phone and the app to the snowmobile. Uh, BRP Go is what gives you the mapping and trail maps. That is what makes this gauge shine and does what everybody wants. So as we're gonna get to here, you don't see BRP Go. Click one more time to the right of the jog wheel and BRP Go comes up. Push in on the center of the jog wheel and there's BRP Go. We're gonna turn the jog wheel up. We're gonna turn the wheel to zoom in or zoom out. Push in the center, scroll to the bottom. Push in again, centers you on your location. We're gonna turn the wheel back up to the plus or minus, which is zoom in, zoom out. Push in again. I'm going to zoom out by turning the wheel to the left. You'll see these blue lines here are the trail maps that are in my area where I am now. You can zoom out by turning the wheel to the left. You can zoom in by turning the wheel to the right. Now in, within the app, the BRP Go app, you can plan rides from destination to A to B or different waypoints. Coming over to the menu on the left that you see me scrolling through here. This is where your rides would show. Your pre-planned pre rides that are on your app would show in this location right here if there was some. I don't have any in mind as we don't have snow, so I haven't set any up yet. This will show your points of interest. You can see we have a gas station, hotels, food restaurants, and then you have a favorites that you can line up to if you have a favorite destination for a gas station or a restaurant, your friend's camp, uh, your trailhead where you left for the day from, uh, or simply something that you want to avoid, you can set in there as a favorite too so it will show up on the map for you. This is the settings on the bottom. You can choose between uh, metric and imperial. And then right Holding the jog wheel to the right. There we go. Pushing in on the center takes you back to the main menu. Uh, Holding down on the jog wheel will bring you back to your main menu of apps on the dash. Uh, within this, you still have your Google style maps. You can choose your standard mapping, like you're used to on your phone or your iPads. 
You can choose a satellite view like what Google Earth is. You can also choose a hybrid view which will give you not only your Google Earth view but it'll also show your roads and trail maps if you have them linked to that. So the music and audio, as you know the phone is tethered to the gauge to support this app and the BRP Go. The music and audio is all strictly Bluetooth. In the beginning of the video I showed you how to sync your phone via Bluetooth to the gauge and that is just for audio and nothing else. You do have to have the phone linked via Bluetooth for the tether to work with the app to appear on the gauge. Clicking to music, you have all your songs, artists, playlists. Uh, that are set up in your phone that you can now bring up onto your gauge and transmit to your helmet, to your passenger's helmet, or maybe another rider that's in close proximity. You do have to have a Bluetooth style speaker within your helmet for you to get the received signal from the gauge uh, for your music or guidance through navigation via Bluetooth. Come back out. Pushing this button down in the corner, it looks like a little calculator, uh, that'll bring you back to your main menu. The first scroll down is your connectivity for your phones and your helmet. We don't have a helmet connected here. Uh, if in fact we did, the helmet would show up as Rider 1 or Rider 2, just by simply scrolling left with the jog wheel will connect or right will disconnect uh, those certain helmets if you have them set up. Launch stats and trip. This is a cool feature new for 21 with this gauge. I'm gonna click right on the wheel to bring us into it. You have trip A, trip B, and a total for both of them. Looking down at the bottom of the gauge right now, you can see the highlighted orange on A. That is what is showing here. If I am to scroll over to B with a left push, or excuse me, a right push of the wheel, an up push of the wheel selects me to B, and now shows me B on the bottom of the gauge here. Scrolling over, quick slick up, makes it show the total down on the bottom of the gauge. So you can choose whether you have your A trip, your B trip, or your total mileage displayed on the bottom of the gauge just by simply by going through that. All of the functions are outlined here. These are with the jog wheel that you see. If you simply hold down on the wheel, like it shows here, it will zero that function out for you right there. Uh, total mileage obviously of course does not zero out, but going to one of your trips will zero out as well as trip A, trip B. Going back home, this comes down to your audio. Again, this is where your Bluetooth connectivity would have to be for your helmets or earbuds, uh, and it would be displayed in there where you could choose your where you could choose your playlist. Uh, to project to your helmet. Bottom of the gauge, we have some settings. Uh, we have the clock setting. You can choose a 12 or 24 hour clock, whatever you prefer. Uh, by scrolling to the right one more time, it allows you to adjust your time uh, to adjust your clock for daylight savings or if you have dead battery, something along those lines. Your Bluetooth connectivity, which I showed you in the beginning of the video, this is where your uh, where you connect your phone. The display, you can choose your brightness. Uh, simply a right click, turn the wheel down, it will dim or brighten the gauge, depending on your preference. We have it on a full bright just for the video purpose. Go down into modes. You have a daylight and a nighttime mode, or a light and a dark as you see here. Right now it's on the dark mode. Scrolling up uh, with the jog wheel and a right click to the Push of the wheel, it takes you to the light mode, or you can go up and select automatic, so it will change as your clock changes over the course of the day for light or dark. Units, you have metric and imperial. Simply scroll up or down, scroll right to select. Mine is an imperial for the US. Language. Language, we have many languages to choose from. If you speak any of these here, just select them and all of your gauge functions will show up in that desired language. Mine is in English. About gives you the software version that is in the gauge in case there ever is an update needed. 
or uh, there's a malfunction of some sort, the first thing that we can do is check what software you have within the gauge and make sure that that doesn't need to be updated or changed. Next one down is a fault code. Uh, as some people might know as an engine light, if you ever have a fault code within the sled, you're out on the trail, the sled's not running right, uh, you go in here, uh, this one doesn't have any. If you did, it would be displayed here. You can call your dealer and say, hey, I have code C121. I don't know what's going on. The dealer can look up C121. Oh, you have an oxygen sensor going bad. Exhaust sensor. Uh, get it in here. We'll get you changed. We've got one in stock. You're good to go. Or no, we don't have one in stock. Try calling this dealer so you're not wasting your time running around. The diagnostics is there just like what an OBDD port is in a vehicle. Scroll back up, scroll to the left, and you're back to your home screen. On the gauge, uh, you have a lot of the similarities that the previous gauge did, just in a little nicer fashion. As you can see here, you have your fuel gauge right here. This machine is empty because it's brand new. We haven't fueled it yet. You also have a temperature gauge, which is shown here, as well as a numerical temperature gauge shown here. Your mile an hour and your RPM are shown in the same fashion as they were previous just in a newer format with a new gauge. Something that's changed uh, for this year is when you press your hand warmer, your hand warmer gauge lights up very visibly for you to see there, as well as the thumb warmer next to it. Uh, seven seconds after you're done pushing your hand or your thumb warmer, it'll go back to the standard gauge that you see here. So nothing you have to do besides push it up or down to see where you're at, and then it will disappear on its own. Uh, previously, we had the mode and select buttons, the mode and select for the gauge to change your odometer, your trips, or your digital functions that were on the older style gauge are gone with the new 7.8. Uh, that button is still there and now functions as a hang up and answer button for your cell phone, as well as a volume up and down for your music. By simply pushing it, you'd see the volume go up or down if we were playing music through the, through the gauge, through your helmet. Uh, since we're not, it won't show you that, but that is where it would be displayed right there, as well as an incoming call that you were answering or hanging up. Okay, what you see here, folks, is what comes with your new Model Gear 21 uh, ski -Doo. And if you have opted for the 7.8 panoramic gauge, you also get this card that you see here too that comes with it. This is your owner's manual. This is your emergency start rope uh, that comes with the toolkit. Uh, all of this is found within the glove box and the Ziploc bag when you get your new sled. This card here is very important. If you have the new 7.8 panoramic gauge, this explains to you in text the steps to download your apps as well as connect via Bluetooth and via the tether uh, to the gauge with your phone so that you can mirror the images or the apps, the BRP Go, BRP Connect onto your gauge and see your mapping. Again, uh, we're gonna explain everything to you in this video and show you how to connect uh, all ways and all the functions of the gauge. This here though does come with the sled and will give you a hard copy, something to read and look at if you're having trouble installing it when you get your new machine. Okay everyone, I hope you find this video useful and I hope you have learned a little bit of information on how to use the BRP Go, BRP Connect, and most importantly the new 7.8 panoramic gauge. We're gonna see you on the snow this winter. Make sure you stop out and see us at any of our shows or demo rides. And we'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have or help you with any problems that may arise. And I hope you too get that skidoo feeling. Have a good winter, guys.